Today's question is, what is the name of the second full moon in one calendar month? We will answer that at the later in the show. So the answer to that trivia question today was a blue moon. If you guys have ever heard the phrase, once in a blue moon, that's pretty much where we got it from because they don't really happen that often. Our next blue moon will be in July. So... So remember, it's only when you have a second full moon in a month. So is it blue in color? No. So I actually found out that it's rarer if it's actually blue in color. Mm -hmm. That's even rarer than what we okay. call a blue moon. Okay. Super rare. So why do we call it a blue moon? I actually looked this up, and apparently it comes from an old English word, which was something along the lines of bellu, which meant to betray. Oh. And the only reason it's called like a traitorous moon is because they usually used like the lunar cycle to determine when Lent is and stuff like yeah. that. And having two moons in a month sort of threw it all off. And yeah. so it became kind of like, uh, what, are we supposed to like fast for longer now? Are we right. supposed to fast less now? And so it became confusing. And so they called it, it was sort of a traitor because it wouldn't let them know when to be religious and when to celebrate okay. Lent. Okay. Yeah, Lent because all of those things are centered around the moon. Um, same mm -hmm. thing as, you know, I, I wonder if it affects the tides at all or if it affects... Oh, it affects the tides. Great. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, gravity, second as we were talking about, gravity moon. pulls it in. And mm -hmm. so I imagine that there might be some sort of, like, fisherman, like, superstition on blue moons or Probably. something along those lines. Probably. Yeah. I imagine. Because so, if it's yeah. affecting the tides like that that traitor moon if it's going to affect everything it's going to affect everything and Thanks, teachers have a moon. have a um, kind of a saying that we can tell that there's a full moon without even looking at a calendar outside because kids get crazy and people do kind of crazy things i notice a lot more um, you know mean drivers and mm -hmm. road rage around full moons yeah. um, so they say there's a lot more crime that happens yeah. during full moons. There usually is more crime for sure. More so hospitalized have, people. Yeah. yeah, yeah, definitely more cases at the ER. Um, and I bet you know having two full moons in a month just drives everybody crazy. I'm glad it's going to happen in July because I'm uh, be in the school. classroom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Wake up, sheeple! The moon's screwing with you. Yeah. If the particles and smoke are right, then it could be an actual blue moon. So mm -hmm. yeah. It's happened around like volcanoes and stuff like that. When mm -hmm. they erupt, the ash comes up, mm -hmm. causes it to look literally blue. Yeah. I mean, if we might be able to, I might be able to pull up a picture on one. Or if they used to see that as an omen. Of Probably, you know, so many things mm -hmm. were determined by the skies and by the mm -hmm. weather, and people thought, oh, God hates us, mm -hmm. and that's why it's raining so much, or that's why it isn't raining. And it's nice to have all this technology today, so that we know, mm -hmm. you know. These aren't it's all cool. bad omens. It's just natural things happen in nature with weather and things like this with the moon. Um, Luigi was able to pull up a picture if we can uh, cut to his screen. Of a literally blue Literal moon. Literal blue moon here. And so that's what mm -hmm. that looks like right there. As you can see, that looks really cool. We should have a volcanic eruption sometime soon because I want to see this. Well, if Yellowstone erupts anytime, that's, that's then true. Then I'll be dead. That's true. <laughs> I don't want or, to be dead. I want to see it. It depends on how bad it is. Yeah. We could just be covered in ash. Only acid rain. It's not that big of a deal. We'll just lose all of our crops.